a January release date does scare me a little bit uh, because this movie seems interesting and we're seeing he's finally got some wins now and it's finally working out for him. I'm, of course, talking about the movie Glass that, um, I don't know, I, 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 I'm seeing the trailers of it. It's not blowing me away, but it's also... It's doing enough, I think, to get my interest. Um, if you're not familiar with what Glass is, it's the sequel to Split and Unbreakable. Uh, I don't know. I'm sure that M. Night Shyamalan is going to play this off as this was his plan all along. I honestly think he had a sequel for Glass, or sequel for Unbreakable that he wanted to do, try to do some other movies. People were like, okay, maybe this guy isn't as genius as we thought he was, had some really bad movies. Finally has some hits again, so he's like, well, maybe we, we finally make the sequel, and I just shoe our in, shoehorn in a cameo at the end of this movie, which I thought was great. Like, the uh, the Bruce Willis cameo at the end of Split was pretty cool. I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I didn't think that was an awesome reveal. But it just, the trailers are doing enough, but I don't know, with the January release date, that, that worries me. Because usually, when movies come out in January, they're bad movies. Everybody, that's the joke, is, you know, November, December, those are your Oscar bait, like, best picture type movies. And then January is where all the slog is, where it's all the bad stuff that just gets put to January. And then February, you get back into it, into the good, the better movies, you know. And I, that that bothers me because it looks like it could be a fun movie, but it just one I'm wondering why it's in January. Is it because it's a bad movie or is it because the studio just doesn't they still don't believe in M Night Shyamalan and they're kind of just like, well, if we if we put it in January, we can't we won't lose a lot, you know. And it's January, so I mean, if it even if it does well, and say it breaks a January record, it's January. So it probably doesn't need to make a lot of money box office wise to be successful in the month of January. And I'll, honestly, the more I look at it, the more I'm also wondering where else do you put it? Do you put it in February? You're not, you gotta be also conscious of when Marvel movies have come out. Cause you can't put this thing in March or April because it's going to get buried by Avengers and Captain America, which, uh, believe me, we'll get to and we'll talk about. But it's it's just interesting um, that it, uh, it, it it's it's an interesting decision to put it in January, but also I think it's maybe just you got to get this movie out and you got to put it in the right spot. That's probably really what, all that's it. <laughs> 